Hello, welcome to Apocalypse Otaku. I am your host, Char, and I am here to give you your O oh, anime needs and your MCU needs as well. Speaking of the MCU, on Disney Plus today, starting today, WandaVision is on. So check that out. Also, I have gotten some news that Chris Evans could possibly be back in the MCU and I don't know but I think he's denying it but as we all know you know everybody who works in the MCU says oh no I'm not working for the MCU don't be silly and same thing with Robert Downey Jr. He is back, but he's playing an AI of Tony Stark in uh, Spider-Man 3. Uh, it has not been confirmed whether he is or not. So just keep your fingers crossed. Um, anyway. Moving on, we're going to anime voice actor birthdays. There are none today. Uh, and then we're going to move on to the Masked Dancer. Um, Masked Dancer, it was Group B Playoffs. And the theme was, these masks don't lie. And there was a guest panelist named Cheryl Hines. First up was Zebra. He danced to All My Life by Casey and Jojo. And I think... I think it was supposed to be a comedic dance. I don't know, not sure. But yeah, I think it's supposed to be a comedic dance. And he, I don't know. To me, he just didn't get it across. Um, next up was Cotton Candy. She danced to Sour Candy by Lady Gaga and Black Pink. Um, next was Moth. She danced to Sway by Michael Bublé. And finally was Sloth with Up Where You Belong by Joe Cocker and Jennifer Warnes. Um... They tallied all the votes and everything, and it was Moth that was sent home. Uh, I, I don't think Moth should have been sent home. I, one or the other one should have been sent home, because at least she was doing a good dance, you know, to the best of her ability anyway. Uh... When the mask was removed, uh, it was revealed it was Elizabeth Smart. Uh, for those of you who don't remember who she is, which I had a hard time remembering also uh, until I saw the cover of, they showed the cover of People magazine. Um, she was, um, kidnapped as a child from her family by the nanny and the nanny and her husband were on the run for a number of years and so was not elizabeth and they i think they kept her locked in a shed i'm not sure uh i I'm, i can't remember the specifics but yeah i'm glad she's back with her family i'm very happy that she's happy. Anyway, back to better circumstances. 
she was, when she was, after she was, you know, removed her mask and everything, um, she, they were, the, judge, the judges were talking to her about her ordeal and she started, you know, breaking down as anyone would. Um, so she did a great job at the time that she was there on the mass dancer. And now we're going to move on to the adult swim schedule for Friday, January the 15th. Uh, starting at 8 o'clock is Bob's Burgers, 8.30 is American Dad, 10 o'clock is Rick and Morty, 11, Family Guy, and from midnight to 4 a.m., yeah, got them squid billies. At 4 a.m., you have Eagle Heart, 4.30 Lucy, the daughter of the devil. And at 5 a.m., Bob's Burgers. And finally at 5.30, rounding out the night is Home Movies. And that is your Adult Swim schedule for Friday, January the 15th. And... By the way... Don't forget to mark your calendars for January the 28th because we will have the one and only Richard Epcar on our show. He played, you know, characters like Joseph Joestar. Um, also, he did Bateau from... Uh, the Ghosts in the Shell series, and he's also done so many bad guys from the Power Rangers series, so tune in and watch us. Uh, you won't regret it. Plus, we've already got our battle going. Uh, it's Hel uh, Helsing Ultimate versus Castlevania. Vampires versus vampires. Uh, so be sure to go to Anime Animo and look for Otaku Girl, and it should be on her profile that you know you can vote on these things and vote for stats, not favorites. <laughs> we try to stress that because you know. There's a lot of people that vote for favorites instead of, you know, <sighs> stats. Statistically, this person would win because, you know. Anyway. Be sure you subscribe. Ring that bell so you get notifications when we drop a new video. Like and share. And on that... I'll see you in the next video.